Woof. Okay, so two new dev blogs came out today. They're pretty short and sweet in both cases. The first dev blog that came out uh, today on uh, September 21st is uh, regarding new ships distribution methods. So Wargaming is, says we would like to provide you with details about the resources to be used to acquire upcoming ships. In future updates, you'll have the opportunity to anchor several new ships in your port for, for free. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. Okay, sure, for free. We believe that. We'd like to tell you what in-game resources some of them will be available for. Tier 10 Soviet cruiser Smolensk B will become available for coal in one of the upcoming auctions. So there, it looks like this is only an auction. At the same time, Smolensk will also return in the same auction for doubloons. So it looks like they're going to auction this off for both coal and doubloons. Uh, well, the Smolensk B and the Smolensk, the regular Smolensk. They're going to auction them off for coal and doubloons. So if you feel like you got to have one, you go for it. I wouldn't recommend spending what it's going to take to spend. Let's put it that way. Tier 10 German bullcrap submarine U4501 will become available for coal. Okay. And Tier 10 battleship, Italian battleship, Ruggiero di Laria, uh, and its 18-inch SAP guns will become available for steel. So that one is going to be a steel ship. And Wargaming says that details concerning the cost of these ships and their release dates will be published at a later date. So we don't know how much coal for the U-4501 or how much steel for the Ruggiero, but we know that's what it's coming for. So be looking for it. Um, yeah, I'm not too excited for the sub. I'm not excited for any of those. The Regirio is interesting. Um, it's definitely interesting. We'll have to see about that. Uh, but there's a second dev blog. So wait, there's more. Go look at that. All right, here's our second dev blog regarding clan, battle, clan battles and a Kana season. I cannot talk. Clan Battles Anaconda Season and the changes to the ship restrictions. So this should be interesting. I have not been playing Clan Battles this season, so I don't know what the metas have even looked like. Uh, so if anybody else has been playing, you can feel free to tell me what ships have been abused in the, uh, in the meta. But they're saying, um, based on analysis of previous week's data and player feedback of current Clan Battle Season, we've decided to make some changes to the ship restrictions. Okay. Uh, Ragnar, Gdansk, and Marseille have been removed from the first group of limited ships. These ships were not, overpower were not overperforming and we're seeing less play compared to other ships in that restriction group. So we've removed them from the restricted list entirely. San Martin has been added to the list due to excessively strong performance and fair popularity since the start of the season. Fair popularity, not, not excessive, but fair. Um, Zorki was removed from the restriction list with Clabert and Marceau. Does that mean Clabert and Marceau were removed from the restriction list? Uh, given her very low popularity in comparison with other super ship picks such as Annapolis would like to open up the option for more teams to pick her. Additionally, with Ragnar Gdansk being unrestricted, Zorki may act as a counterbalance as she has the capacity to deal with them quite effectively. Okay. Harugumo has been added to the list or Harugumo, whichever you prefer, has been added to the list with Clubert and Marceau as she has become an increasingly strong pick after the last set of restrictions. Okay. All in all, these restrictions are to shake up the meta a bit and provide a newer and more dynamic experience by making some other ships and compositions more viable as well as uh, rein in some of the stronger picks. In total, the restrictions will now be as follows. 
So now a team can have no more than one ship in total from the following list. Petro, Napoli, Alexander Nevsky, and San Martin. So you can only have one of those in total of those, what, four ships. No more than one Kleber, Marceau, or Haragumo. Okay. And banned from battles altogether is Ohio and Kremlin, St. Vincent, also Smoland, Conde, the Ushakov, and the Louisiana. So that's a pretty interesting uh, banned and restricted list there. So uh, you people that play clan battles will have a better idea of what that's going to do to your meta as well as the overall meta. So there you have it. All right. So that is it. That's the two short, sweet dev blogs. So we'll wrap that up and we'll move over to World of Warships to start playing the game. So let's have at it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see notifications of future videos, just ring the bell. Until next time, Tater Dog says, woof.